Hi, my name is Doug Neighbors. I run Fun Train. We are a producer and publisher of episodic virtual reality experiences. Our first was The Exorcist Legion VR. Our brand new title is... We can't wait to show the whole thing to you. Lord of the Jungle. The really interesting thing about how this game was put together was... The, uh, the, the style, the art style. Um, we wanted to sort of have you feel like you were inside the actual pages of a comic book, a 3D virtual reality comic book that feels kind of like the real world. It's, it's you know, there's so many different art styles and we really wanted to choose someone who, who would make it really, really uh, cinematic and, and colorful and vibrant. Uh, and Joe Kubert, who did a, a million Tarzans, has this great style. We sort of adopted that look and feel and that's really the world that we've created. So here we are in the offices of Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated. We are located in Tarzana, California. And this is actually the office that was built in 1923 by Edgar Rice Burroughs himself. He would actually ride his horse down from his home and spend the days here writing his beautiful stories. So this is the Tarzan knife. Just a little small thing. Tarzan. Uh... People seem to know him from around the world, but what they don't know is he was really the very first superhero in the entire world. There was no such thing as somebody known internationally who was not a real person, fictional, and he became the first one. Stonepunk Studios is uh, completely focused on VR. That's all we create. When we have the opportunity to work on Tarzan, there's elements of the Tarzan universe that are so suited to VR that we, you know, jumped at the chance to, to really piece together a, an amazing world. We were looking for a development team that loved playing VR as much as they loved making. Stonepunk has spent months perfecting our swinging mechanics and our swinging technique to give it the most fun and the most immersion as possible. Use each hand to grab a vine and swing. Swing Tarzan like we did Swing we in Tarzan is one of the most complicated things. It's actually a very, very tricky thing to put together. We want it to feel fluid and natural. Everyone knows Tarzan swings through the jungle and that's going to be the first thing everyone's going to want to try. You're going to be able to swim, swing, climb, Fight, Hit him where it hurts. and uh, explore. Here at Fun Train, we come from a movie and television background, so when virtual reality emerged, we were really excited about the possibilities. And with Tarzan VR, we want players to feel as if they're stepping into the pages of a comic book, stepping into a world that they wouldn't be able to experience anyplace else. He who is strongest shall win. He who is weakest must perish in a flame of destruction. Some, some of the behind the scenes stuff that we're doing in the game is every enemy is completely randomized from the face to the voice to the clothing or the equipment the enemy will have. And so every time you play through the game, you'll get a different set of enemies. You'll see, uh, di you'll hear different voices and they should never be the same twice. And we're, we're actually taking that randomization to different all sorts of different levels within the, the animals that you'll meet, the things that are in, in the environment, creatures that are moving around. Everything is generated uh, differently every time you play. You may be the Lord of the Jungle, but I'm Lord of the Sky. Fighting in Tarzan, we have some pretty cool bad guys who will uh, pretty much stop at nothing to, to pummel you to, to bits. Oh, you come down here, man! The fighting is actually all physics-based, and we really wanted you to feel, you know, some meaty contact with your fists. The guys on the team, we all met through uh, the games that we enjoy together, and and wanting to create those sorts of games ourselves. You can punch, you can uppercut, you can sideswipe, you can grab them by the neck, you can grab a coconut and actually hit a guy in the head with the coconut, crack the coconut open, then eat the coconut if you want. Uh, spared no expense on the coconut <laughs> and uh, there's not just fighting with your fist though we've got many items that you'll collect or many weapons that you'll collect for each issue and one of those will be an axe 
you might find some weapons that the bad guys have left in their camps and you may be able to use those as well. Uh, eventually you'll progress to weapons like a stealthy bow. So these will be uh, really suited to the environment you're in. So you'll have to figure out how to use those in per environment. Tarzan's also, also going to have spears and actually a trident for strange things underwater, which uh, I think will be interesting. Each of the enemies, you know, when we talked about fighting before, but when you punch, when you punch a guy, we, we don't want you just to, he will make a sound, you know, and his, with his voice, his mouth movement, his eyes, everything will react to where he's been hit. Only gonna be two sounds. Me hitting you, you hitting the ground. So we really put a lot of effort in casting the right kind of voice talent. Bad men take Jane towards Skytree, where great ape live. Babble will come with Tarzan. We have 20 or 30 different actors voicing different characters. Or just say rocket or eat rocket. Get ready to eat this rocket. Eat this rocket. Oh, what's this? It's a rocket. Hey, Jungle Boy, meet Rocket Man. Cuckoo! We have this great composer, Vince Sharifi, who's going to make this really grand, epic uh, score. So the world of Tarzan is actually quite huge. There's a lot of great history to Tarzan and a lot of uh, locations that he visits. And so we wanted to bring all of those to light. I really do miss Jane. And so if I can help in any way, I am here. So I know that each, each of us, each player, has uh, the kind of games they like. They like to do different things. And in virtual reality, it's sort of taken to another level because you are living it. And what I like to do is just explore. And the great thing about this game is the vast world that you can explore. So if you want to follow the story and do what you're supposed to do, you can, but you also can kind of deviate and go find little hidden Easter eggs and a bunch of other stuff. And it's a really beautiful uh, environment, so it's worth uh, taking some time and going off the path a little bit. You might be surprised what you find. What would you like to do today? If one of the options is to leave me alone, I would vote for that one. Tarzan VR is made up of three episodes, each featuring a unique and dangerous part of Tarzan's world. Just like in the storybooks, the hero arrives in the nick of time. Tarzan VR will be on every major virtual reality platform. We even have full knuckle support, as well as live support, so you can experience Tarzan in mixed reality if you choose. We're really excited to bring it to as many players as we possibly can. Kill my friends and drive me from my home. Lives are not meant to be wasted. 